All right, so just going to get my quick take on this NBA Finals before I get into this Atlanta Hawks stuff. Um, quite frankly, man, I'm, I'm, I'm really not surprised. A, a lot of people, this is exactly why I have the uh, – the notion and and what I go by is waiting patience. Like y'all crowned Luca a legend before he was actually a legend. Now he getting his ass molly whopped by the Boston Celtics and his team. They've been together for quite some time and they had a lot of ups, a, a lot of downs. And quite frankly, I'm not surprised that they kicking the living shit out of uh Boston, uh, Boston, but Dallas. Luca looks like Luca. He can put up thirty points with no problem, um, but everything else is just absolute trash. Okay, um, absolutely horrendous on defense. He should be ashamed of his fucking self. Like this dude is absolute trash when it comes down to defense. He shouldn't even be allowed to even look at a defender. Okay, look if you can call if if you can have twenty timeouts in the damn game. Use all 20 timeouts to sit up here and get Luca up off the fucking court because he got no business guarding any damn body. This dude is absolute ass, okay? Has no business in the in the game plan trying to play defense. He looks at guys. He does. Excuse me. He doesn't even try. Luca doesn't even try to defend. It's that bad. And all he cares about is getting that ball in his hand so he can shoot a three-pointer, so he can pass the ball, or he can shoot it, he can do this to this guy and get the ball and watch Kyrie do his work and watch everybody do their work. That's what he's good at. He shouldn't even be allowed to be even thinking about defense. Okay, so I'm 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 gonna say this. Just go ahead and sweep him. Just so we wouldn't have to deal with this, just go ahead and sweep them, Boston. And and quite frankly, the way Boston is playing defense, you got Brown, you got Tatum, you got Drew Holiday. Like, you know, Drew is just an underrated player. A lot of people don't give him the respect that he's due. Um, he's just an all-around guy. He He's just a baller, man. So Drew Holiday definitely deserves uh, credit for doing what he's doing and helping, you know, help get Boston over that hump. That's what he does. So, um, as far as the Atlanta Hawks is concerned, I know a lot of people probably been waiting on me to say this uh, in this particular video. Uh, is that right now? The rumors are is that the Atlanta Hawks are not looking to trade Trey Young. A lot of people probably saying themselves, "Oh, we need to build. We need to start all over." Well, this ain't the draft to be trying to talk about starting over. There's no LeBron in this draft. There's no, you know, Trey Young. There, there's no guy, no clear cut favorite that you say, "All right, this is the guy that I'm going to build around." And I, I just don't see the Atlanta Hawks doing it. From what I understand, they're looking more towards. Uh, bringing these guys back and running it again and see what happens as far as that is concerned. And I think that's the best way to go, but that's just me. Let me know what you guys think about it, what the Atlanta Hawks should do uh, on whether or not these guys should run it back. Uh, but from what I'm hearing also, the Atlanta Hawks, or if they were to trade, they want – multiple and i'm talking about multiple first round picks and i don't blame them so like if you're going to trade trey young i need at the very minimum five first round pick that's what i'm looking for i need five so if you can't give me five first round picks for trey young and that's just the beginning that's just the start i don't want to hear shit i don't want to hear shit i'm getting rid of murray before i even get rid of thinking about getting trey Get rid of Trey. So, at the end of the day, I think the Atlanta Hawks should run it back, see what they can do with a big that can move around, get rid of Clint Capella, and, you know, just do their thing. So, let me know what you guys think about this, man. Uh, Boston is going to be swept, uh, in my opinion. If they don't, it don't. But I think they'll end up getting swept. I just don't see anything out of this team. Maybe they can get some of that home cooking uh, but at this point, they just look defeated. Luca, he's crying every chance he gets. Every time he's on the ground, every time he's on the court, he's whining and crying about this and that. And this. look, just get it over with, Boston. Let's get it out. All right.
so we can talk about something else. But like I said, at the end of the day, I do not see the Atlanta Falcons. Oh, Atlanta Falcons, but the Atlanta Hawks. <laughs> the Atlanta Hawks trading Trey Young. I think these guys are going to end up, you know, bringing him back. Uh, he and um, Murray back, we'll see. But a lot of people are. From what I'm understanding, is heating up with Murray. A lot of teams are trying to uh, bring him, uh, trying to uh, get with the Atlanta Hawks for his services. But we'll see. Like I said before, we'll see. Let me know what you guys think about that. This has been your boy, Mad Mike, with the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, rumor mill, as well as the NBA talk. That's all I got to say about that, man. Boston, sweep. Sweep it. Sweep it. Sweep it. Gone.